I am so honored to do this work here in this theater bearing the name of Nate Holden. I was born 150 yards from the front door of this theater. So as a child, I navigated my way to play with friends, to have a hamburger, to get my hair cut, to go to grammar school and middle school with all of my siblings, and to return in a role of cultural leadership here at the Nate Holden Performing Arts Center is a complete joy for me. Ooh, what little moonlight can do to you. It means a, a dream come true. Uh, when I uh, became councilman of this district, we had a theater named the Ebony Showcase. And the earthquake took it away, and it had to be replaced. And so I got a lot of help from my dear friend, President Bill Clinton. I said, I got to have some money so we can build, rebuild this thing. And that's what we've done. I want to say that we are very proud to be here in our community and to produce theater that represents African Americans in real life. After all the help I give her opening her, her kitchen and, and all of that, and she said no. I believe that this theater is what's needed in Los Angeles. I mean, first of all, it's named after Nate Holden, who was an incredible human being and deserves to have as much respect put upon that name as possible. I love the fact that it's not a theater that's in a different neighborhood that might be more melanated, less melanated than this one. I love the fact that it is reaching out to this community and making art happen. God bless the child that's got his own. That's got his own.